Hey guys, Michael here with Pure Pursuit Automotive and I want to talk you through our newest acquisition, a 2013 Porsche Panamera GTS. Um, the GTS has a 4.8 liter V8, naturally aspirated, makes 430 horsepower. There are some aesthetical changes to the front end of the GTS compared to the normal Panamera. They include black headlight surrounds as well as an updated front bumper. Large slotted rotors with giant red calipers covered up by some 19 inch wheels here on Michelin Sport Plus tires. We'll take a quick look at the interior. We'll talk about that later, um, but quick look at it. it. Has carbon fiber surround on the dash as well as leather. Sport front seats. Coming around here to the back, um, two seats rather than the three style bench. Um, sport seats, very comfortable. Moving on around here to the back. Surprisingly large trunk, automatic rear hatch um, with the privacy cover as well. There's not a rear tire or spare, but there is a rear a compressor to fix a flat if you need. Now coming on down here to the back, and another unique feature with the GTS are these black quad exhausts. They have a slight rifling around the outside, very nice aesthetic touch. Now this car's warmed up, so I'm gonna hop in it, rev it for you to hear this thing. This thing's very loud. We're gonna start off with some of the buttons here on the center console. Now up here on this top right and top left, you have your driver side and passenger side HVAC controls. All very standard stuff here. One good feature about this is has air conditioned and heated seats, both front and both front seats. Um, moving down here, we have our Sport button. We also have Sport Plus. Sport Plus is unique to the GTS, coupled with the PDK. Um, several new features of this is including stiffer suspension, quicker transmission shifts, as well as a launch control feature. Moving down, we have several comfort settings here. You have your com you have your regular comfort, your Sport and your Sport Plus. Now when you, when you select these buttons, all your choices are displayed here in this gauge cluster. Moving down here, we have the ride height. There's high and low. The high mode is good for going over any speed bumps or other unnecessary things you don't wanna scrape the front end. And down you have your traction control button. You have to hold this down until the light comes on, turns the traction control off. That way you don't inadvertently turn it off. Um, that's for your own safety. <laughs> Moving over here, we have the rear wing. There's two settings. There's the current setting where it's up. Hold it down. The wing retracts. Now here, now this is another new, unique feature to the GTS. It's an active exhaust system. I'm not sure if you can hear the difference or not. Um, when you press the button, Valves are open in the exhaust system, makes it a little bit louder. We have the automatic start-stop button, great for when you're in traffic, saves fuel, um, which is something you're gonna need to do when you have such a large engine. We're gonna move on here up to the display. Um, we'll run through some of the features of it for you. Um, so there's several different sources. You can have your radio settings, your AM, your FM, as well as your satellite radio, so XM if you have an XM subscription. Several different sources here, AM, FM satellite, as well as discs and auxiliary cords so if you wanted to plug your phone in your iPod whatever you can listen to your own music you know kind of run through you have your different sound settings you can change you know bass treble all the standard features moving down here phone now that says Bluetooth phone uh, I have my phone currently connected you can access your phone book previous calls receive calls very helpful um, there's two buttons here on the steering wheel that help you answer calls and calls very helpful feature. Car settings. Now car settings, this can show you a variety of options. Um, that way you can kind of track your consumption, your average speed, um, total distance for trips, whatever it is, you can have it here. That way you can kind of monitor um, your efficiency. Moving on to the navigation. Now you can, this is a great navigation system. You obviously kind of traditional navigation. You can enter your addresses, previous destinations, stored destinations like your home or your work, um, places of interest, whatever. Um, onto the map here. Map shows your 
relevant options. So you can see it shows you gas stations and it just like, keeps you an idea of where you're at. Um, you can zoom in with this, zoom out, whatever. It's kind of standard navigation features. Now we'll move on up here to the gauge clusters. Um, as you can see, the gauge here on the right, this, now you can run through a variety of features here. This is what's great about the Porsches. So you can go, here's your audio. So currently it's on the auxiliary setting. Scrolling down, you have your navigation. You can get your turn-by-turn -turn directions in the screen here, which is great. That way you don't have to glance down here, take your eyes off the road. It's all right here. Come down. As you can see, you have the whole map there, which is even better. Here now your phone settings. So when you're in a call, it'll show who you're calling with, call times, things such as that. Um, right now it's showing me my signal strength and my carrier. Coming down, also trip settings here, so you don't have to be glancing down there every time. You can check your trip settings there and you have full control. Tire pressure is a great way to monitor your tire pressure. Um, pressures are all good on this vehicle. Now sport chrono, now this is another unique feature to the GTS. You monitor your lap times right here, that way you don't have to be looking around. You can focus on the lap and you can check your times right here. Now this, assisted cruise control. This is a radar guided cruise control. There's a radar sensor on the front end of the vehicle. And basically you can set your distance and your speed and it'll follow the car in front. So say that the car slows down, you slow down and you keep your set distance. Very helpful feature. Um, getting close to the autopilot stuff that Tesla does, but not quite. Down here, more vehicle settings. Um, just kind of general stuff. Temperatures, elevation, uh, direction. So that's kind of the, the rundown for that gauge. You have your other um, standard gauges. Right in the center, you have your tachometer. Turn that light off for you. Um, speedometer over here on the left side. Other various information there. So it's all standard stuff. Another thing about Porsche, they're kind of weird. They keep the ignition key over here on the left side. They have to be different. Um, moving down over here, I don't know if you guys can see down here, now this over here is the driver assist. Basically it keeps your, your blind spot monitoring. You push that button, as you can see here on the mirrors, it shows you the light, tells you it's on. Um, now when you someone's in your blind spot, that light will light up and warn you, hey, someone's there, don't change the lanes. It'll also beep for you if you start to go over and um, you don't heed their warning. All right, moving on here to the steering wheel. Um, this has the PDK, as I said earlier, so we have a little display here. Now it'll show your Sport, your Sport Plus. Also it has, you can't see it here, but it'll have a launch control there. So when you set it into your launch control mode, you know. It'll also let you know in the other gauge, so you know you're ready to go. Um, other features, this helps you scroll through the menus. This also helps kind of navigate the menus as well. And this is your end call button, as well as over here, it's counterpart, the answer button. Um, now here, this diamond shape um, is a specialty key. You'll, when you'll see the diamond shape um, on the, in the gauge cluster, pressing that will engage that certain feature. Um, this is your volume control here, up, down, everything. Now back here, part of the transmission, as you can see, plus, minus, push it forward to go up a gear, back to go down a gear. Now we're going to move on down here, some other features down here in the uh, center console. You have your auxiliary cord as well as your USB. Yeah, you can use, listen to music on your phone, your iPod, whatever. Power outlet, standard stuff. Um, sizable enough. You have one cup holder. You don't need too many. There's two more over here in this. Flip out, pretty neat. Nice and convenient storage of them. All right, we're gonna run through some features up here. We have the, if you ever wanna turn off the parking sensors, right here. Um, you have your standard, you have your two lights. But more importantly, we have our sunroof controls here. So there's this switch here. One click back, we'll open the sunroof fully. One more, we'll close the glass. If you push up on the button, it'll crack the rear part of the sunroof. Also included in this area are your three home link garage door openers. Great feature, that way you don't have to have ugly buttons hanging down up here. See, surround light, gives you plenty of light for this cabin can also set the lighting for when the doors are open. This is a great car, the GTS, because it's just as smooth as a normal Panamera as you'd expect, but it has the GTS, so it's got the power and the handling. That way, if you do decide to get a little crazy, 
you can easily do that. All, obviously always within the speed limit, of course. Now this car does have the stop start feature. I'm not currently using it, um, but it'll save you gas, you know, when you're in traffic at stoplights, it all adds up, but every little bit helps. As we're going, you can see the map. Um, you can have a couple different settings. You can have it set going that way. You can have it set reverse. I prefer the other way. Get confused when it's going down. And as you can, as you can tell, um, very quiet car. Um, you can't really tell from it from in there, but very comfortable, very smooth. This is currently in the comfort setting. Is this has three different settings: sport, sport plus, and comfort. Left here, I'm gonna put in Sport Plus, the loud exhaust, and we'll give it a little gas here. See, very quick, um, not too loud, but loud enough that you get the sense that this car is very quick. I got a little exhaust note for you there. Now when it's in Sport Plus, um, it's really a true track feel. So as you can tell, it wants to have higher um, revs. It doesn't like to be down low. Um, it's kind of to be expected. It's great for the racetrack. Great exhaust note coming out. Go over here, we'll give it a little more gas. You can kind of see if we can hear the exhaust all shut up for once. Excellent brakes, which were needed very much there. So you're going, you're going just under the speed limit there. I'll put it back into comfort mode. If I can find the button. There we go, back into comfort mode. Revs drop, quiet car all over again. Very Jekyll and Hyde. All right, guys, that'll conclude our test drive um, of this beautiful Porsche Panamera GTS. Uh, and to contact us anytime at our website at purepursuitauto.com or give us a call anytime at 816 659-3027. Thanks.